I really miss my friend. You know, I really do. I'm still hurting. And the next thing you know, I truly miss my companion. You realize I truly do. I'm actually harming. And the before you know it, um, she's dead. Beam J was the last individual to see her alive. He let the seller in yet. She was level headed right yet. He let the vendor in that offered it a chance. When I previously heard she died, I said, my God, someone gave her a terrible pack cocaine. But yes, I guarantee you that was the primary thing that emerged from my mouth. And afterward, I saw Beam J. And everything included, I will everlastingly accept that liquor realizes who is liable for Whitney Houston's passing. And she is produced to express presently word on the road is Clyde Davis had her off for her inventory very much as they did Michael Jackson. Let me explain to you why Puma is tossing conceal on Whitney's name. Even a long time after her passing, you realize Beam J's been under the magnifying lens for being one of the last individuals to kick with Whitney before she passed. There's this gab about whether he contributed to her gaining admittance to drugs, which simply includes more show with the existing blend. Then there's Clive Davis making things happen in the background of Whitney's vocation. It resembles a top in the background of the music business. We're making bank typically proceeds paying special attention to the craftsman, yet clearly Whitney wasn't all that blameless, either from her obscure relationship with Beam, to reports about her being a blackmailer individuals are beginning to recognize the truth about her and Panther, is saying that Whitney was in any event. Making a detailed storybook about Clive Davis before her passing, could that be what prompted her passing currently picture this Beam J purportedly working hand in hand with Clive and Diddy to eradicate Whitney from the image. The reason why Well Puma claims it was all essential for some wound Hollywood strategic maneuver, like something out of a dim spine chiller, they supposedly considered Whitney to be a penance to scale the stepping stool of popularity and fortune. What this look I feel like anything with her name on it is rigorously for the motivations behind monetary profit for the individuals who approach her domain, including Clive Davis, most D.A.V. Davis. This ain't a film to observe Whitney Houston. This is a film to a you know pay to pay to pay to pip, as per Panther Whitney's demise. Wasn't a grievous mishap, no. It was far more vile. She guarantees Whitney didn't calmly die, yet was truly driven into her end evidently. Whitney wasn't seen as calmly in a tub. She had wounds on her body, proposing something more evil went down Pumas, directly up names pointing fingers at. In all honesty, Beam J that's right similar Beam J. We know from his music and unscripted television trickeries, purportedly he was engaged with a few obscure dealings coordinated by. As a matter of fact, Clive Davis and Diddy, in light of the fact that not on the grounds that you're glad, that she's self-destructing, it's she's doing the crackhead jokes. So dope you understand what I mean. It was she was in it, huh? Underscore, underscore, what? Underscore, underscore. What is my, and here's the kicker beam, Joe wasn't some irregular man they snagged into their plan. No, he was tight with both Clive and Diddy briefly. You can find pics and recordings of them chilling together, even Beam J calling Diddy his good example, yet we should not forget the origin story Clive and Diddy. Go way back like way back allegedly Diddy owed a ton to Clive. Like a ton, there's even discussion about a few compromising blessings traded between them, definitely. It's that sort of industry tattle that makes you question all that you assumed you knew. So why Beam J? Well, obviously, he was Whitney's nearest compatriot at that point. And they figured he'd be down for whatever, particularly in the event that there was some money included. I mean, who wouldn't be enticed by a fat check right five years after a split from Bobby Earthy Colored? She ended up at the center of attention, again this time connected to, in all honesty, Beam J better believe it you heard that right bits of hearsay flew about them being a thing, yet affirmed nothing still the age hole, an incredible 17 years, caused a commotion Whitney was 48 and Beam J was 3-1 yet, they were wherever together hitting up clubs and extravagant meals like it was no one's business Whitney's union with Bobby Brown wasn't precisely a fantasy. 
Bobby spilled the tea in his diaries, portraying a turbulent association tormented by steady dramatization warmed contentions and the exemplary pattern of separating and making up their romantic tale was more similar to a wild, exciting ride toto, with circles of medications, homegrown unrest, and murmurs of disloyalty. Yet here's the unexpected development it was Whitney who ventured out first connecting with. As a matter of fact, Tupac Shaker Bobby was severely affected, particularly since he and Tupac were tight. With discusses Bobby marking on to Tupac's name, yet when Tupac unfortunately left this world in 96, Whitney was left staggering from the misfortune passing on Bobby to watch his significant other grieve over a past fire their marriage turned into a tangled wreck of detachments and fix-ups. Yet in the end, Bobby arrived at a limit he needed to ask himself was the consistent dramatization worth the effort? And with crushing sadness, he settled on the difficult decision to cut ties for good during Whitney's recovery. Spells Bobby wound up playing the miscreant, getting side looked at by her mentors. Despite the fact that he was his remaining clean himself, he says he skipped from the marriage without requesting a lot, beginning new in LA with a fantastic in his pocket. That is where he reconnected with Alicia, his experience growing up. Bud turned second spouse their split, wasn't the finish of a marriage, it started off a cascading type of influence, prompting Bobby Christina's descending winding and keeping in mind that the world watched Whitney's reputed throw with Beamja worked up, considerably more dramatization in the sensationalist newspapers, J swore all over they were companions yet the tattle plant continued turning until Whitney's disastrous end. In 2012 only days, before she left us, they were spotted together, leaving individuals, thinking about what was truly happening between them. Moves a little talk that I heard you've been seen in and out of town with Whitney Houston. Now I realize the tales once upon a time that you all were hanging out. What yet? What's the arrangement right now? We hang you realizes it's its Grammy weekend and she's visiting the area and on we ate. And you know she's such a symbol to where it did arise at the majority. Yet you know we lived it up we ate. That is all there is to it. So dispassionate great. Currently here's where things take a dim go. There were murmurs that Beam Joe wasn't Whitney's friend. Yet may have filled her battles with dependence. Definitely you heard that accurately supposedly he was the one providing her. With an excess pushing her more profound into her fight with break enslavement in spite of Whitney denying it in interviews everyone around her, including Beam J himself, purportedly saw her descending, twisting Whitney attempted recovery. Yet it didn't adhere, she confessed to her defiant streak, saying she simply needed to party, yet she continued denying being reckless, guaranteeing she needed to reside. Unfortunately, her battle against habit wasn't enough, enter Diddy and Clive Davis, supposedly calling the shots in the background Clive Davis. The brains behind Arista, records home to Whitney Houston during her prime, resembled a definitive me 